All right, so today we're going to be looking at setting up SRT and live splits to be configured on a streaming PC. Now, one thing that's really important to note is that almost the entirety of the setup is actually going to be taking place on your gaming PC since that's where the instance of Resident Evil is going to be running. So you still need to be hooked up to that PC to be able to pull the in-game timers and your inventory screen. So what we're looking at right now is my gaming PC and you'll need to be running an instance of OBS on your gaming PC for this to work. Now keep in mind, you're not gonna actually be recording or streaming or anything like that from this PC, but there's a way that you can set up your capture card, which will be covered in a different video, or there's plenty of videos on how to set this up outside of, of my channel. But um, if you go to your desktop and right click on display settings, when you hook up your capture card on your gaming PC, you should see a display that is reserved for your capture card. So the number one, that's my gaming monitor. Number two here, that's actually what's being pulled by my capture card. So if it's not set up this way, definitely check out a video online to see if you can figure out how to set it up this way. This should be available whether you have an internal or an external capture card, USB or PCI Express. So um, you'll wanna have it set up this way first. Most people, when they set it up, they choose to duplicate their, their displays if they have two 1080p monitors or, or one 1080p monitor and they have a 1080p capture card. But I have a 1440p monitor and I, don't, I prefer not to do that because then it has to reduce the resolution of my monitor that I paid a lot of money for down to less than optimal performance. So once you have it set up this way, then we're going to go ahead and run that version of OBS on your gaming PC to start configuring SRT and live split. So... At this point, you should have already at least set up your auto splits on your gaming PC to where like, you no longer have to use keys to automatically go in between splits. Um, that'll be covered in a different video, but you should at least have live splits open, configured for auto splits, and have SRT installed and ready to go. So once you get to that point, you're gonna set this up as if you were going to be streaming from this machine, even though we're not going to, of course. So that's going to involve capturing the game. So opening up a game capture and selecting Resident Evil Remaster, and then hit okay. You're gonna do a window capture, and you're gonna bring live split in. I like to uncheck the capture cursor just in case I'm tapped out and my cursor rubs over top of this. It's not gonna show in my stream. You're gonna do an audio output capture just so that way you can make sure that your Elgato audio channel, which is gonna be bringing in the game audio, is coming in from your gaming PC. And then you're gonna bring in SRT. Now, I have two instances of SRT here, and I'll explain why. The way the SRT is set up is, as you can see here, there's a lot of extra information here. And most of that information, if you're using Live Split, you don't even need that. So what I've done is I've cropped out the inventory in one window and I've cropped out the status screen in another. So I'll show you how to do that very quickly. So I'm gonna just make a duplicate copy of my, st my status here. And I'm gonna uncrop it just so that way you can see what I've done. So this is the raw unedited version um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and remove the transparencies as well just so that way you can see this. But this is the raw, unedited version of SRT. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up that transparent layer, which is going to make things look a lot better. Rather than having this gray stuff filling up your, your game capture window, um, we can make that transparent so we can still see what's happening over there. So we'll start by right-clicking on the SRT capture. You can either do that on the preview or over in your sources window. Go to filters. You're going to click the plus sign here and you're going to add a chroma key and you can name that whatever you'd like. I'm going to just add a one so that way I get a brand new one. And it's going to look something like this. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to get rid of the key color type from green and you want to set it to custom. Then you want to drag all of these three bars down to a value of one. You're going to go to select color, pick screen color, and then you'll want to go over into your SRT window over here and just click on one of the empty inventory spaces that's grayed out. Once you click OK, it'll immediately put that in as a transparent layer. And then you're good to go there. You don't have to worry about that again. Now, I've already set mine up, of course. I'm just going to bring that one back and get rid of this one since I've already got it set up. So now you've got a transparent layer. The next thing we need to do is we need to crop this down. So if you hold the Alt key, on your keyboard and then press on any one of the circles over here, you can crop the image out. So on one of these, you're gonna crop out the status screen. 
So that way only that remains, just like you see that I've done over here. And then of course on the other one, you're going to crop out the inventory. So with the inventory, now that you don't have a transparent layer, um, it's a little bit more difficult to see. So you can toggle the transparent layer off if you wanna be able to get a more accurate representation of what that looks like. You're gonna hold down the Alt key and then you're gonna bring it into right where that gray starts. And again, that will be transparent. So even if you're not 100% accurate, you won't see it anyway since it'll be transparent, including all of the black that's up here too. Then you're gonna crop in the top where the gray starts right here. And now you've cropped out your inventory. Then as you can see, if we bring the chroma key back in, it will still show up as it is appropriate. So I'll go ahead and remove this one since mine is already configured. And just like that, now you have everything set up for what would be streaming on your gaming PC. But again, this is where the capture card comes in. So since we're running everything natively on the gaming PC, now we're accurately going to be able to reflect our status and in inventory and our splits since we've already configured auto splitting and SRT with our game. So that's all we need to do on our gaming PC. And again, just make sure if you haven't done it already, make sure that you're not duplicating your displays here and make sure that you have a separate channel for your capture card. Then over on your streaming PC, essentially what you'll do is you'll configure it like you normally would. So if you've already got it set up like this, all you really need to do at that point is to just bring your capture card and whatever other accessory or peripherals that you want to run on your stream would be. Everything that makes this game run appropriately is now configured on the gaming PC. So if you've already configured your streaming PC for streaming, this is all you need to do. You just bring your capture card in, make sure that you're getting audio from your capture card, of course, and everything that you need from an overlay perspective for this game will be done and configured from your gaming PC. The only other thing that you need to do, and this is a very important step that you cannot miss, once you have this all set up, you need to right click on your preview here and you want to go to full screen projector and you want to click on the display that's being created by your capture card. So what this will do is rather than now you see an OBS window in the capture card, what this will do is this will then overlay the actual game on top of it instead. So now if I actually were to tab into Resident Evil, which I'll do right now so you can see, <clears throat> Now there's actually movement happening here. So you're not seeing an OBS capture window, you're seeing the actual raw video coming in. So that full screen projector is a very, very important step because that's actually gonna be what your capture card picks up when it's in full screen. But um, that's, that's pretty much it as far as setting up your gaming PC. So um, now I'm gonna go over and close this just so that way you can see the remaining portion of this. Um, now what I do typically, this is just a personal preference, is I'll go and drag this um, back onto my gaming monitors window um, and then I can recreate my full screen projector from there and now it is, there it is again. And you can right click on this and close it uh, whenever you need to. So, um, But like I said, 90% of this setup is done on your gaming PC and if you've already set up your streaming PC with your capture card, this is all you need to do. There's nothing else to it. Otherwise, you're going to need to go in and add your capture card and everything like that. But that is it for this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, via the comments. You can email me at hazeblade at outlook.com, or you can hit me up on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hazeblade. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.